Hello and welcome back to the channel with me the White Seer playing some more Planet Crafter today. <clears throat> I hope you guys are well. We are well and um, I think what we're going to do is I was thinking of moving our base from down in this basin here. Let's just grab some oxygen. Up to um, a different area and I think we're going to go a little bit closer to the, uh, I don't have any windows in it. A little bit closer to the other wrecks, just up there. Um, <clears throat> when we went up there before, there were some flat areas, and then there was a raised bit. I think the raised bit might be. We might be shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit with regards to getting um, resources up there. But I think. Um, I think that we um, should probably head up that way. I don't think there's much up here. There is that cave up there that says that the. <clears throat> ice, I think it is, will melt. I think it's over there actually. Will melt at a hundred. Um, is that nano Kelvin? <clears throat> nano Kelvin? Looks like nano Kelvin. Um, so uh, we could potentially come back. We do have a little forward room where we can restore oxygen up there. Um, but obviously, we're going to need to rebuild a little bit. Um, make this. Um, a bit more, well, better, better designed, I guess. The veg tube threes need to be outside, so we'd like some sort of gantry for those. Um, and uh, oh, hello, is that actually? Uh, oh, eighty-seven percent. Okay, so we're growing some stuff in there. That's cool. Um, but yeah, we need to go up there, and it would also be very, very um, useful for us to find some. Uh, aluminium stores somewhere as well so we can get some more stuff going um, we're at 96% of the way to blue sky I think what we're going to do is I'm going to run up there while that's doing that um, we're going to grab some iron and some hopefully some silicon and some other stuff along the way I'm going to start putting down a little framework for um, a base up there um, pick the area it is nice and flat up there so uh, yeah, we can grab some stuff here and uh, get up there, and then uh, yeah, we'll probably uh, actually we're very close to um, reach blue sky now. So I'm gonna I was gonna say we'll be right back, but I think, I think I'll take you along for the ride here, and we'll wait for the blue sky to uh, to happen. Yeah, so just up through here, there's all of this flat land here. Actually, can we build into this? That look kind of funky, maybe. Yeah, maybe not. Let's let's go the other side. Um, also, in there seems quite interesting. We've got another wreck there. We've got um, more wrecks over there, and we've got all of this um, other cool stuff here. And there's this ring over here as well. So, advanced craft station. So yeah, I might actually build our base on this nice big flat piece right here. Let's um. Let's get this kind of going here. Where do we want the front to be? Um, let's have the front. Well, let's have multiple doors. Um, yeah, if we do we want the front looking that way, or do we want the front looking this way? Is that off the floor now? That's off the floor now, isn't it? Right, okay. Um, and we need iron and titanium for a door. We better get that relatively quickly because we are running out of oxygen. Am I going to be able to find iron here? Here's some. Right, let's grab this. I think we'll put the door on the front part here, maybe. There we go. Right, let's grab some oxygen back and then we'll start building out a slightly bigger base here. Uh, we need iron and titanium, so let's run around and grab some of that stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back, and I've um, I've actually put a a little bit of a base thing down here. We've got a bit of storage. What I'm going to do now is um, I did change my mind. I thought it'd be kind of cool to build within this rock formation to see if I can put a unit that looks like it's sitting on top of this rock um, with like a viewing room in it. Um, 
and I thought I'd try and build some gantries on the top of here for solar and some other stuff just to make it look nice. Um, I think what we're going to do is run back to the base and start bringing our resources over here in order to try and make that happen and look nice and I think we are... I'm going to do that and then I think we'll come right back after that and um, we can have a little look at the progress. Um, obviously the terraformation index is going to be ticking around whilst we're doing stuff so um, if anything significant happens I'll bring you guys back in and uh, yeah we can talk about it. I'll um, be right back after this guys. Okay guys we are back. We have done several runs now to and from this base, grabbing the stuff on the inside. And um, just as an aside, um, don't build two bases. Build where you want to build in the first place. I recommend building small and then having a look around and then deciding where you'd like to build your base. I built in the first place. And the only advice I can really give you now is, yeah, if if that's going to, if this isn't going to be where you want to be permanently, do not spend a lot of time and effort actually building a base here. Moving stuff is just a massive pain in the bum. Um, yeah, deconstructing and moving stuff. Actually, I do want to keep a box here, so I'm going to put a box uh, right here, and I do want to put one of those in there at least for food. Um, yeah, so that's that's the only tip I really have at the moment is obviously be careful where you're gonna where you're gonna put your stuff. Um, but let's empty these veg tubes out and take this stuff up there. Um, can I deconstruct one? I can, but I can't take all the stuff. Right, that's fine. Um, we're gonna have to take all of the turbines and everything up to the new base as well. I don't want anything left here. I might leave one solar panel on the roof of this one just to, uh, I think I've got a tier one, a couple of tier ones there so I might leave one of those on there just to keep this done as a forward base because there is still quite a lot of resources down here in this base. Um, yeah and then obviously we've got our pod there as well but we are going to build this up and um, try and uh, make it a little bit more exciting and a bit better. It'd be cool to have my beacon maybe up there. Um, uh, nope, don't deconstruct. Um, we didn't manage to get all of our stuff back. So, um, yeah, we're running out of space already. Um, I'm going to continue doing this until this base is what I want it to be. And then we'll be right back again. Okay guys, and we're back, and we've managed to get all of our components and everything up the top here and kind of reset up. Unfortunately, I can't build on the side of this. Let me grab um, some titanium here. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, we can't build on that side. We can build on the top. Um, I might put something up there. It looks kind of looks supported, but, but also not. I wonder if I can actually build. I can build on the back. Um, so that might be quite cool. Maybe we'll have a little top layer up there, build across the back, and then see if we can build over that as well. I uh, started putting some gantry down as well to make it look a little bit more supported out here. Um, so we can actually build some of that there, but I can't build behind it because of this rock. Um, there seems to be no clipping, which is a real shame. Um, Again, I don't think I can build there because of this tiny, tiny rock here. We can actually jump through here though, which makes getting back in a little bit easier. Um, sorry, let's just get rid of that. So I need some stairs up in um, this area here. Uh, what do I need for stairs? Cobalt. Let's see if we can grab some of that. And then we can utilize the space above. Can I now not get into this room here? Okay, there we go. Let's build an inside ladder. Uh, which way is... Let's put it here. So I just press it and we're upstairs. Okay, great. And then we've got this little area at the top here. So I'm probably going to put heating and stuff like that up there. Um, let's get this. Oh, really? I just opened it. Nothing's inside of that container. 
There we go. Let's um get upstairs and put a chest up here. Or a storage box rather. Storage crate. Um that's the right way around, I think. Yeah, good. So we can start using that for stuff. Um, and we can also get through. I've literally just bunged everything in here. Um, I figure we'll have um, another room in the front here that will be used for this kind of stuff. Um, but obviously we've not done that. And our terraformation uh, index is pretty high. What's going on here? We got... Um, Oh yes, we're being rained upon. Okay. Biodome. Okay, so we've got some new stuff um, that happened, obviously, whilst we were moving all that stuff. Firstly, the launch platform, which we need super alloys for. Um, we managed to unlock that. Um, we've got the biodome, which just pinged up. Again, super alloys required. Um, that's just pinged up. Hydration level is critical. One second. Um, oh. Oh, what is it? Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Phew. Um, yeah, onwards. The yes, the biodome, and we also managed to get. We've got the veg tube already. The heater tier three that popped up. We need iridium rods for that. Uh, advanced craft station, which I think we're going to build as soon as we possibly can. Um, and the ore extractor, which again needs super alloy and iridium rods. And that extracts ores from the ground depending on where to place. So, um, one thing we didn't build is we're missing the communication screen. Uh, two silicon and a magnesium. Let's just grab that stuff and build that screen because we did also receive a message which I have not re yet read. Let's chuck that in. Um, oh, I finally managed to locate the system they sent you in. Success rate of planet crafters is so low because it's nearly an impossible task. You should find space food in your pod and maybe space Rex. Uh, okay. Find some veg seeds. Okay. How do you have a chance of success if you build your base in altitude? I'm not sure why for now. Ah, well, we've just done that. So in case you're becoming accessible in the ice melts. And one last thing, you can end the communication. I'm a planet grafter sent on the um, Megoria 3 planet. Where there is atrocious and running out of resources, there's not enough on this barren world to terraform it. Uh, okay. So we've got a fair few things that we can actually build now. Um, I'm probably going to round this off by trying to just grab some grass spreader blueprint. Okay, we've got a fair amount of stuff to build now, so I'm going to just try and grab some titanium and some iron here so that we can actually add a few more living compartments to our place. Um, and then I'm going to organize it, and after that, we will be right back. Okay guys, and we are back, and like I said, we've put all of our stuff outside here, I'm going to tidy that up. I did um, build a little bit around the back here, and we've added an extra pod there, and I also put some stairs up, so we've actually got access out of the back here, um, which I think kind of helps us. Um, inside, I've cleared most of the boxes away, I need to sort out where we're going to actually put these guys. Um, we've now got locker storage, which I've built these hold a shed ton of stuff so I've only actually needed three of these we are going to move them around a little bit um, we managed to get this the advanced craft station which gives us oxygen tank level four um, we need super alloys for that um, backpack tier four again needs super alloys for that uranium rods we need a load of uranium uh, iridium rods again a load of iridium um, super alloys which the key problem there is we need aluminium, which we don't have, and then this rocket engines, um, again iridium rods and uranium, super alloys, and a jetpack, which um, needs two rocket engines and titanium, 
Um, I want, I want that. Um, I've also um, decided to tidy this up. We had these monitors on the floor before, but now they are on a desk, um, which just makes things a little tidier and nicer. So it says actually here that the next step is rain. Um, I'm glad we've kind of moved our base up here. Terraformation is now at 590. We need a food grower. So I was going to maybe turn this area here into food production and stuff like that. And a locker maybe to hold all of our food so that we can go straight there if we come in and we need we need to grab something. Um, however, we need aluminium for that as well. So I think in the next episode we are going to look into finding somewhere where there's lots of aluminium. Um, upstairs, I've literally just started stacking heaters in here um, to keep that going. Um, I think what we're probably going to do is... Um, Oops, that's the wrong way. I need to learn where my uh, the arrangement of my base here. Um, I'd like to put the beacon, the communication sink, up on the top here, or maybe even up here. I don't know if we can build across. I might try and do that. We'll sit the communication sink on there, just for just for looks. Um, I might try and put it up on the top there. I think we need some windows in this place as well because it's looking a little barren and a bit bare here. Um, so. Um, maybe I should have put this the other way around so that we could have a front window here, but because um, we can't over this side. But we do have these in the doorway, so I think that's okay. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for joining me for this episode. Um, I think we're going to call it here. And then uh, I hope to see you guys around for the next episode where we'll go on the hunt for aluminium and uh, hopefully get our food situation sorted because we are slowly running out of, um, of food here. Until next time guys, take care of yourselves and stay safe.